when I was at the, I was out shooting in that one video, shooting out to a thousand yards, and uh, he saw me using ballistic AE, and it told me to dial 8.9 mils for my drop at a thousand yards. When that had me shooting extremely high, I was shooting several mils high at that range. That's several feet high, and um, I had to do, make my own adjustments to figure out the true drop for my rifle at that range. Uh, and it ended up being um, 8.2 mils was how much I had to come up in uh, trajectory for that range. So how I fix that is I'll go to my ballistic app right here, ballistic AE, click that, and I'll go to my favorites down here and select my load. If you want to see how to make these loads, I can do that in another video, but for now I'm just going to select my load I was using that day. And you'll see my old trajectory, and I've updated it since. So now it doesn't say 8.9 anymore at a thousand yards, but it says 8.3. But that's still not correct. So I got to change that to 8.2. So I'm going to show you how to do that because 8.2 is my true drop at that range, not 8.53. If I doubt 8.53 at a thousand yards, I'd be hitting about 0.3 mils high. So I'm going to show you how I do this. So knowing that I need to change that from 8.3, I'm sorry, from 8.53 mils. To 8.2 mils this is what you got to do so go here select your load this pulls up all the um, the information pertaining to that load that was entered by the computer default so what I'm gonna do is go up to the top here and I'm gonna select my muzzle velocity and then I'm gonna turn off drop is relative I don't like using that makes everything a little more complicated Turn on your units of measurement. For me, it was MRAD. Or you can measure the inches if you want to get really particular. You can measure the inches on your target with a freaking ruler or whatever, but I just do MRAD. It's easy. If I had MOA, I would do MOA, but I have MRAD, MRAD scope, so I'm going to use MRAD. So I was shooting at 1,000 yards, right? So 1,000. And it dropped 8.2. So, this is how I true my load. So, it says, at a thousand yards, I dialed uh, 8.2 up in correction for my drop. So, in here, what I'm telling it is, hey, it's dropping 8.2 mils at a thousand yards. So, you have to put a minus in front. And then what you would do is scroll down to the bottom and select correct velocity. And you'll notice my velocity changed. It went up. Alright, so now I'm going to go down here and hit calculate trajectory with my new velocity. And it should say, if I did it right, it should say at 1,000 yards it's 8.2 mils now. At 1,000 yards it's telling me now that it's going to drop 8.2 mils, which is correct. Now if that's correct at 1,000 yards, uh, you would assume that the rest is correct as well. And I've noticed when I was shooting at 500 yards, I was shooting a few mils high as well there too, so now it should be closer all around the board. So that's how you chew your your load to your rifle on ballistic AE. Now another thing I wanted to point out was uh, what's cool about this is it's right on my phone. You can see it's on my phone here. But say you don't want to rely on electronics, right? I find that I either use paper or I don't use anything at all. So what you could do, seeing that you have the load pulled up with the information that you want, the drop chart that you want you can select that and then print it out print or you can share and send it as an email or whatever you want email it to yourself and print it out on the computer whatever you want to do so that's what I would recommend doing and uh, then you can actually tape it to your rifle put it in a ziploc bag waterproof it and tape it the buttstock on your rifle and that's what I'm going to do with this one now that I've had a chance to chew it.